All right, so today we got a 1937 Oldsmobile straight eight camshaft in the grinder. And uh, it, was, it was worn pretty bad. And so we actually, uh, from the cam, cause it's, it's a solid, it's a mechanical direct action lobe. So we didn't have a lobe uh, this, with this profile, obviously from 1937. So we made some masters uh, to grind it and we got it set up and indicated in and got it straightened and, and all of that jazz. And I got the first lobe uh, ground and confirmed uh, the lobe tapers correct and all. So, uh, you know, this is just like maybe a highlight of what we can do, how we can do it. So some of this antique stuff that you just can't find that can be repaired or, or just touched up if a lobe is not, you know, totally murdered, uh, we can regrind it and, and salvage it. So uh, I got the first intake. Well, actually, I got the cam in backwards, but I got the first intake in line uh, done, and uh, we'll bring you in here, and I'll, I'll grind a couple of lobes and, and, and let you see it. So it, it wasn't like super bad, but over the nose on several lobes, it, it, it had some pretty good wear. So we we picked uh, the best two lobes on the cam to uh, get the data from. To, and you can see right, let me stop it. Right there, you can see the nose. And this is the high side so the taper on this lobe is, is this way, so it's high on this side. And you can see the wear is, is all on the high side, especially right before the nose radius. So I, I feel like we got two lobes that we uh, made masters from that were the, the best. We cam doctored it and got the best, but, um, but yeah, you see it's not gonna take, we probably ain't gonna take uh, about 15 thousandths heel to toe off of this, so we won't change the base circle about seven or eight thousandths. But you know, some of these old cams, I mean, they're just, they're just non-existent. And this thing was, uh, it was bent in the center 18 thousandths. It had 18 thousandths run out in the center journal. And, uh, you know, we, we, we peen camshafts and crankshafts to straighten them. And man, this long spindly thing, I was scared to death the whole time I was peening it. But we got it down to 2000s and uh, I, I stopped there. I wasn't gonna fight with it anymore because I, I sure didn't wanna break this sucker in half. But it, but it come in and uh, all five mains or, or like I say within two, maybe a little less than two. And uh it's it's gonna be good. It's gonna live again. We Andrew reground all the lifters for it. Uh, and it's got huge lifters. I think the head diameter was like almost inch and a quarter. So they they, they pretty robust. We'll touch one more, and then uh, and then we'll go. You'll get the idea here. Two twenty-five.
kind of see because um, this would be, you know, it's a gear drive, so the camera is backwards. So this will be the opening side, and this will be the closing side, and you can see how much more what it what it looks like, you know, on the closing and the opening side, how much different the wear is. But the base circle is actually, I mean, you see, I mean, the base circle is actually in, in pretty good shape, really. It's just the uh, opening and closing planks has got the most wear, but this thing probably don't even got an oil filter, or if it does, it's not a, a full system filter, so they ain't no telling what kind of trash was in the oil that's riding around in. see the nose on that one too it's it's pretty rough on right on the right at the peak of the nose radius all uh, right so that's that's how we do it so you know this is pretty much the way we do uh, all regrinds I mean even a, a solid roller is still going to work this way we've got obviously lots of different master plates and lobe designs for roller stuff, whatever, you know, the application is. But some of this old antique stuff, I mean, you just gotta make it. it. It just doesn't exist. And, you know, somebody, you know, that's been in the cam grinding business for a hundred years might have masters for all this crazy stuff. But, you know, we just make them as we go and do the job, get it done, get it out of here. But anyway, thanks so much for watching and we'll catch you on the next one.